y'all, it's Mel's with Superficial Gallery, and welcome to episode 9 of 31 Days with the King. This is a short series dedicated to all things Stephen King, with a daily upload on one of his works. So we'll do our best to try to incorporate his more popular titles, along with some of the lesser known or less well-received uh, ones as well. So with that, let's go ahead and get started with today's pick, which is one of my absolute favorite Stephen King novels, and it is The Dark Half. So, this is a special one because it is the first appearance of Alan Pangborn. I mentioned him a couple of episodes ago when we talked about Cujo and the sheriff of Castle Rock at the time. It was not Alan Pangborn, so I thought, let's go ahead and get started with my favorite sheriff of Castle Rock. So, in this story, it's... a about a writer that uses a pseudonym and um, it's Thad Beaumont and he uses George Stark where he writes some pretty dark novels. Once it is found out that he is using a different pen name for these novels, Thad decides to kill off George Stark and on his epitaph he puts that he was not a very good man. So, some strange things start happening once Thad kills off George. Um, a lot of murders start happening. Now, um, Thad lives in Ludlow, Maine, and where else do we know that city from but Pet Cemetery? And we covered that a couple of days ago. So, these mysterious deaths that pop up are deaths that are related to to Thad in some way or another. Um, the neighboring town of Ludlow is Castle Rock. So this is where Alan Pangborn becomes an integral part of the story. He starts investigating these murders and he realizes that it is Thad that is doing these murders. Um, come to find out there's a nice little twist in here. It's not actually Thad that is doing it. And I will let you uh, read the novel if you want to know. I don't want to spoil it, of course, because there may be some out there that have not read this yet. Like I mentioned earlier, it is one of my top five Stephen King novels. I've read it so many times. It's just a classic to me. What I love about the story itself is that in the 70s, Stephen King actually wrote under the pseudonym Richard Bachman. He put out a lot of works under that, very successful novels. We'll touch on some of those later in October as well. And so it was a little bit of a therapeutic type story for him to write since he also used the pseudonym and then it was later found out that he was in fact Richard Bachman. The story behind Richard Bachman is actually a pretty funny one. I love the backstory that King gave him, and Richard Bachman also mysteriously died. So there's a lot of tie-ins to King and Bachman in this story. Now, this was made into a film adaptation. I do enjoy the movie. I've watched it several times. Timothy Hutton plays Thad Beaumont, and we get our first glimpse at an adaptation or a, you know, actor playing Alan Pangborn, and it's actually Michael Rooker. Now, some of you probably know him from Days of Thunder. Um, that's where I most know him from, and then also he was on The Walking Dead for a while, and he is in Guardians of the Galaxy. He has a lot of more under his belt as far as filmography goes, but those are like the top things that stick out in my mind. The adaptation is really good. I would put it in my top 10. It's not in my top five, but it's not a hard one to watch because Timothy Hutton is very easy on the eyes in my opinion. Now, this book has got supernatural elements to it, of course, and it's, it's got horror with the murders. It also has some medical oddity type things in it, and that's what I like about this novel as well, because you'll, once you read it, you'll figure out what exactly George Stark really is in relation to Thad Beaumont. It's pretty interesting. It's a pretty nice twist. 
it does not have a happy ending as most of King's works kind of generally don't. And it's something that I appreciate greatly about Stephen King novels in general. So I hope you will check out this book and watch the adaptation. Of course, I would not be me if I did not show you this beautiful man's photo on the back. Very stunning. No beard this time, but handsome nonetheless. I mean, gotta give it to the master of horror. It's easy on the eyes. So thanks for coming along on the Dark Half ride with me today. I hope that y'all have enjoyed it. Please be sure to subscribe to Superficial Gallery. Hit the bell to get notified when new content is posted. Like the video, comment below if you have read the novel and if you have seen the film adaptation. I'd love to hear your comments on it. We're also taking requests, so if you have a specific King work that you would like to see covered on the series, you can comment that below as well. Or you can tweet me at MelsBells84 out in the Twitter sphere. And again, like I said, we'd be happy to cover any requests. We've already had one yesterday with the Green Mile. And we've gotten a few others in as well. So keep those coming. Um, everyone have a fantastic night. And I will be back to haunt y'all tomorrow. Bye. Aww.